let's try to deal some more question in arithmetic uh, sequence series and uh, here we'll be solving a few typical equations uh, that generally comes in examination in an arithmetic sequence the third term is 15 and the sum of the first 10 terms is 125 then find the common difference and the 10th term okay so as I told you in the previous videos you know always and always we need to start with the given things first we need to write whatever the given things is all right so in our arithmetic sequence the third term you know so uh, I'm representing the third term by a3 okay or in many books uh, or or maybe your teacher may be representing by t3 so that does not matter all right that's the same thing so for a while I'm supposing the third term by a3 that's given 15 okay and the sum of the first 10 terms it means sum I'm representing by s okay so sum of the first 10 terms s 10 is given to be 125 and co uh, question is asking what is the common difference okay so what is the common difference let me represent common difference by d what is that and what is the tenth term so a 10 all right what is that just like a third term is 15 we need to find out the tenth term okay now how to do so whatever the given things are there try to formulate them and try to get the unknown quantity from there all right as you know you know to find out any term you you must get the common difference you must get the first term and uh, the number itself you know here the which terms you need you need 10th term so 10 that's you know all right so uh, first we anyhow we need to get the first term and we need to get the common difference if you know the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic progression then you can find out everything whatever the question is asking you okay so for the same thing here I have here uh, the general formula for the nth term is you know a nth term is a plus n minus 1 times the common difference all right it's common difference d so here in this case I have been given the third term all right so a3 will be a plus 3 minus 1 times the common difference and we are given this third term that is 15 so let's put the value of 15 and that's a plus twice of d or simply if you are well enough if you have practiced a lot in arithmetic sequence then uh, you know directly what is the third term that is a plus 2d you know uh, if you if you want to write fifth term then a plus uh, 4d just one less you need to take it you know because the first term is a second term is a plus d and the third term is a plus 2d and the fourth term if you go like this uh, a plus 3d so what do you get in the first term you know in the first term you can write same thing like a plus 0 times d so in the first term one less number is here in the second term one less number is there there is one you know Similarly here, this is the third term, but this is two. This is the fourth term, but this is three. So keep in mind that if, if you are well uh, practiced, then you can directly write that also, right? There is no problem at all. So uh, here you get one thing. And similarly, uh, we have been given the sum of the 10th term, all right? So uh, now here, all right, here I'm doing, um, I'm formulating that sum of the n terms first. So sum of the n terms is given by the formula n by two, twice of eight, twice of first term, plus n minus 1 times the common difference all right and here we are given the sum of the first 10 terms okay sum of the first 10 terms then s 10 will be 10 over 2 n is representing the which term it is all right so twice of a plus now it's 10 so 10 minus 1 times the common difference so it's going to be further as 10 equals to now 5 2 a plus now 10 minus 1 that's 9d okay and we're given this 10th term that is 125 all right so it's 125 equals to 5 twice of a 9d okay so now you can cancel this 5 times 25 is uh, 125 so you get 2a plus 9d equals to 25 now see from here you can put the value of a into this one or you can simply take the equation this and this and you can solve anyhow this equation you know equation one and equation two you have two equation you solve it and you'll get the value of a and d easily all right what do you feel easy you do that one uh, I'm thinking to do here uh, let me do the let me put the value of a in there all right very simple substitution method I'm going to use so a is going to be now here 15 minus 2d so putting the value of a all right putting the value of a a from 1 uh, what we'll get we'll get 
twice of a a that is 15 minus 2d so 15 minus twice of d plus 9d is equals to 25 and further 2 into 15 that's going to be 30 and 2 times it's uh, twice of d all right it's not looking like d twice of d it is so 2 times uh, 2d that is 4d plus again 9d equals to 25 so here it's going to be 30d i'm, I'm bringing this uh, 25 this side so it's going to be 30 minus 25 because this is plus here and when this plus will come this side it will be minus all right and minus 4d and it is 90 so it's going to be uh plus 5d all right it's going to be plus 5d equals to zero and further if we solve it we are simply going to get 5 equals to minus 5 of d so 5 and 5 cancel and simply we get the common difference d equals to minus 1 all right we got here common difference minus 1 so definitely here what you can write now that a equals to 15 minus twice of 1 and that's minus 1 all right so it's going to be 15 and minus minus plus 2 because 2 times 1 that's 2 and then 15 plus 2 17 so you got 17 as a first term and you got common difference as a minus 1 and no one is now going to stop you to find anything whatever you need and now let's go to the question what the question is asking us the question is asking the common difference that we found that just we found that's uh, minus 1 and we need the 10th term so again the same generalization formula I'm going to use and if you know uh, then directly you can write the a 10 equals to a plus 1 less that is 9d or or if you want then you can put the formula a plus n minus 1 times d in and and if you put here 10 you'll get definitely 9 here right so uh, I hope now you're very smart in, uh, in dealing with the sequence and series all right so this a is 17 here as we had get there so it's 17 plus 9 times the common difference is minus 1 all right so it's going to be 17 minus 9 and from 17 if you subtract 9 you'll get definitely 8 and that's your 10th term that's our answer so a 10 and the common difference both we get the 10th term is here 8 and the common difference is here minus 1 this is how we need to solve it you know always try to formulate try to put that uh, given things into the formula I first put the formula uh, for the third term and later I put the formula for the sum of uh, sum of 10 terms so always after putting after f formulating try to get always the first term and the common difference if you succeed to get these two things nobody can stop you to find anything what you want see you in the next video goodbye